Yo, you too. June 6th, the Arkansas International Barber Expo is going down. Because I know it's going to be educators in there like Clipper Queen, Buff the Barber, my boy OG Walker. It's going to be a lot of people in that building. I need y'all to focus in and get y'all tickets now. I'm going to drop the link to the tickets below in the description. Hit the link, get y'all tickets. We're in the building. The Arkansas International Barber Expo, June 6th. Let's get ready. It's going down. Yo, so to kick this video off, I wanna go in using my pick And I wanna lift this hair as much as possible I'm starting to notice how uneven it is in certain areas And I just wanna make sure and ensure that it's as even as possible And that the pick is fed through majority of the hair for me to be able To solidify myself and break into a real nice haircut my next step is to go in with my babeless FX's I wanna go in, I wanna slowly but surely start You know, to shape this afro, give it some type of shape Get it as even as possible And clean up all of these loose hairs All of like the, the messed up ends Because the client hasn't had a haircut in over 5 months And I just wanna ensure that this is gonna be a super perfect clean retro haircut So I'm taking my time I'm going stroke by stroke, piece by piece And I'm ensuring that I'm getting this hair down to that one desired length As you guys can see, stroke by stroke, taking my time, ensuring that I'm getting this thing down packed. I was trying to ensure that I could get a nice, clean, microphone-shaped type fro. I just want to keep it as clean as possible. This is going to be a goody. So if you're able to make it, you know, through this 15 to 16-minute video, I think you're going to be super happy with the end results. This is a haircut on one of my dogs, man. He came through, gave me some dope footage, and we're going to put it together. My first step, I want to go in with my Babeless F-axis towards the bottom of the curve, and I want to get myself a nice, clean line just so I can create a dope, dope, dope burst it taper on the side of this. Next step is to go in with my number one guard. I want to clear some of the panel area. I want to give myself a decent amount of room. And then I'm completely open. And I want to down fade halfway here and then completely close here. And I got majority of the beard faded already. I'm breaking into the side panel using my number one guard as well. And I'm using the hilt of my blade. I'm creating some shape. But also, I want to slowly but surely create that gradient look. Then I'm completely open with my Babeless F-axis. Halfway closed here. Now fully closed. Now I'm on 116th guard and I'm completely open with this one. I'm halfway closed here now. Now fully closed. Taking my time, brushing one fade and one staying consistent. And now my one and a half guard because I want to give myself more room. Seeing the ridge is super hard. It's still an afro mode. I need to ensure that no matter what goes on, I'm able to create a gradient effect and create a nice clean taper. Back down to my 116th, completely closed. Using the hilt of my blade, brushing one fade and one keeping everything consistent. Bringing it all the way together and scoring at as efficient as possible. Back down on my 116th in the beard, I seen a couple, you know, deficiencies I wanted to get right in the beard and just making it happen. Now I want to go in and shape that ridge area of the fro just to ensure that I got a nice, nice, nice gradient look. And then the 1 8 guard right here using the corner of my blade, making sure that it's completely blending. As you guys can see, we getting butter here. Fire. Now I have to hit the back, I'm going in with my 1 8 guard and I'm basically using the hilt of my blade. My 1 8 guard is completely closed. 
I want you guys to check out one thing in this back area. I won't be balling it out. I won't be doing what I did on the side just because look at the taper area. It's so dominant. And if I just feel like if I put a ball line there, I won't be able to not necessarily knock it out, but I'm going to push the fade higher and it won't be natural to this type of fro. So I'm going to just keep the fro, you know, super clean. But at the same time, I'm going to ensure that I give them a taper, but it just won't be a ball taper. And as you guys can see, I'm flicking out right here. I'm doing like a C motion, bringing my clippers to me. I go in and I flick it outwards towards me, creating shape in the fro and also creating gradiency. That's how it's done, brush one, fade one, and we back, we right back at it. So as you guys can see, the taper area is very dominant. And I'm back in here, I'm brushing one, I'm fading one. Now I'm just using my blade and I'm trying to hit the bottom area of the fro that's connecting to the lower area of the taper, which is why I didn't ball it out. Cause it would have been harder to transition from that ball line to the back of the fro, seeing how dominant his taper area is. I'm just taking my time slowly but surely, bringing it together and making sure that you know that I'm using my blade correctly and creating that nice microphone shaped fro. Now we want to break in on this side and y'all know what I do on this side. I like to tap in with just life. Tap in with my other individuals that's at home, that's making it happen, through and through this COVID situation. I just got back from Puerto Rico and I think one of the dopest, dopest, dopest things about Puerto Rico is that when I went, I found a level of peace on the island. And by peace on the island, I had a chance to write down everything that I was doing. I do YouTube, I do barber, and I just started my own trucking company. I bought two 18 wheelers a lot and I'm working with Tune 45 as well I got so many things on my plate at one time trying to juggle it all and you just, sometimes you got to step away so I hit Puerto Rico hit my reset button I'm super turned up I'm charged up and sometimes you got to step away from the things that you love the most just to come back and give them that much more energy so you can you know write them down as admirations write down things that you know taking time from you and you can really see if you love it when you step away from a while so my month that I took away from YouTube was so 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 needed i got my mind right i hit my reset button i'm locked in i'm focused i'm charged up so you know i'm back in that bag and y'all know how we finna do we not finna slow down youtube is my world so i'm gonna take it back over i'm hopping back in with my one eighth guard completely closed against the grain hitting the mustache ensuring that i'm getting the hair down to that one desire length and still fading at the beard and cleaning up them deficiencies You guys can see, pushing the fro back some, bringing some of the front of the hairline up forward, just so I ain't got to cut into the fro area. I just want to be able to, you know, alleviate some of this and create a nice lineup on my boy. Next step, going in with some M spritz, and I'm basically hitting the top of the lineup, hitting the beard area, and I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side just to ensure that I can freeze this hair and set it up for that kill shot. Let's lock in. So now I'm going in using my babeless skeletons. I'm hitting the neckline area, and as you guys can see, I'm doing my slants. I'm going to flip the ear down, convert to the corner of my blade, and work myself all the way around the ear. And as you guys can see, I didn't bar it out for a specific reason because the taper is just flowing perfectly perfectly into the back of the fro now now doing the back of the beard line which is super important to me y'all know this is where my kill shot start off it's where my frame out work is i hit the back of the beard slowly but surely creating a nice 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 line man bro that's super fire right there it's super fire that's clean you can tell it's gonna be crazy so I'm hitting my vertical areas on this side of the uh, fro, making sure that I'm insured, making sure that my vertical slants is pretty clean, working myself around the corner of that ear, and now dropping, doing a vertical area in the back of the beard line. Super clean. My next step is to adjust this head, break myself into the middle, and I'm working my way all the way to the left just so I can achieve a nice 90 degree angle. And I just wanna ensure that I can get the line up as straight as possible, taking my time, slight pressures because my clippers are, are super, super heavy hitters. And just taking my time, letting everything naturally come to me. This is the game to me. I just hop back in that bag, this fresh off Puerto Rico. So sometimes when I come back in fresh off of a place or if I haven't been cutting for a long time, 
I tend to be a little bit slower, but I'm just gonna take my time and I'm gonna ensure. I can see, you know, in certain areas of the fro, it's light around the lineup. Not because my client is losing his hair, it's just the hair is just naturally lighter than, you know, the hair in the middle of his head. So I'm just lining up everything, staying on the edge of the hairs and making sure that I'm able, you know, to line it up as efficient as possible, giving myself a nice blueprint. Readjusting the head, starting back in the middle, working my way all the way to the right. I'm gonna give a huge shout out to my dog, the White Beast, because he put this thing together. This beat super hard, and you know, this was just a nice retro beat for this type of haircut. I thought it matched it super perfect. It's super dope, super clean, 808 banging. You can hear the trumpets and things in the background that give it that jazzy feel. So I just hop back in my lineup, as you guys can see. I touch one side, drug my finger all the way across just to ensure that the vertical bars will line up and go right into, you know, my curves or my Chicago C's. I'm just essentially taking my time, tapping one and fading one. But realistically, in the lineup area, I'm slightly but surely tapping it, trying to get this 90 degree angle to come to life. I'm seeing that he got a lot of overhang with his fro, so I just want to really take my time and slowly but surely work my way all the way in there. And now shape that area, knock some of that hair out the way, and now you guys can start seeing this 90 degree for what it truly is. Now my next step is to go in with my boy Sean Cuts Head Color Enhancement Car, assisted by the Beam Team Coilless Compressor, using my color No Drip, which ensures that the color will not leave the color will not rinse off to water he could go to sleep lay down on his pillow when the color won't be on his pillow you know i broke all of the color rules with this product that was what no drip was about it was about creating a color that nobody has ever seen in the industry creating some waterproof giving a client something that will actually last because there's so many colors out here that people put on people and the colors don't last at all you put them on and then the color is off when they hop in the shower my clients can hop in the shower with no drip and it does not drip, it does not fall off It's water resistance So it's one of the dopest products we got under Tune 45 My next step is to go in with my Barber Magic Pencil And I basically want to assist this the same way women do assist their eyebrows And that's just basically them going in and them shaping you know, the eyebrows up Which is me basically shaping him up Then they'll go behind that, add any fill in or any color or whatever they want to add in Just to make the eyebrows darker I added no drip to do that to make my lineup darker on my client Then after that they'll go behind it, conceal it and blend that conceal lined out To get the eyebrows a more cleaner and sharper image and that's the objective behind it to give it a more sharper cleaner image this is for my kodak moments this is what give my clients that flare that pop you know give them that extra crispy ish look so i go in using my trimmers as they blending brush that they will use to blend that conceal lined out and as i'm doing this i'm starting to disperse some of that color and spread some of that color and it's concealing really well against his skin that contrast is super beautiful and as you guys can see we in the game we taking this joint to a whole different level i'm in that bag right now being super focused that boy locked in and my boy man he looking super sharp and i'm just you know hitting more of the fro because the fro was never done when you go through so many other steps you got to come back to it that's the whole point of shaping so i break in lean my client back angle my razor to 45 degree angle stretch the skin and bring everything back to its highest point as you guys can see i'm getting a nice clean natural 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 beard and it's just super fire Go in with my whisk, dust it off, hop right back at it Cause y'all know how I am You can't do something one time You gotta do it multiple times, two or three times Just to solidify that perfectness To solidify that super clean look You know, practice make perfect And I'm from an era where you gotta lap things more than once To create that real clean look And as you guys can see, I'm angling that razor Stretching that skin, bringing everything back to the line And I got this boy super crispy Backstroking, everything is super perfect, super icy. Hitting the bottom of the beard, giving myself some type of whiff on the beard, but also clearing the neck panel and ensuring that my client will leave this shop as clean as possible, as crispy as possible. It's super fire. Super fire. My next step. Angle that razor at a 45 degree angle, stretch the skin, bring everything back to its highest point. Super clean, dog. Taking my time and showing that these lines is nice. 
and we making it happen. Use the whisk, dust them off, go back at it for that second time like I stated earlier. Go back for that second time to create that extra perfectness. And it's super clean. And as you guys can see, super fire. Super fire. This is tough. Next step is to make the other half of the beard look super clean, super satisfying. Clearing this panel out the way, knocking this hair out the way. Then hit the bottom of the line just so I can ensure that it's super perfect. My next step, hitting the inner part of the mustache, giving myself some type of foundation. Don't want the mustache too skinny, but don't want the mustache too thick. I want it perfect size and boom, there we go. Now hitting the corner area of the mustache, ensuring that it's giving it some, you know, nice cleanliness to it. Taking my time, making it happen, my dog looking icy. And then doing the final shape just to make sure that everything is 100% together for me before it's the end. Cause with shaping the fro, it's multiple times I didn't show you, but I re-picked the fro out just to see the unevenness in the fro and Then I went right back at it But you gotta do that a lot with a fro You can use holding sprays and things of that nature if you want to But I still feel like if you gonna shape a fro, you gotta come out, you gotta re-pick that fro Because sometimes when going through the hair, the top of the blade is kinda pressing the fro down to lay the hair flat So you just wanna ensure that you super clean in the imperfect world, we do get clients that come in this thing five to six months without haircuts. As barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome. And sometimes you might gotta step away from the chair for four plus weeks just to realize how much you truly love something. Everybody need they reset button. Stay focused, stay locked in, and there's no way to give it up but this way on my channel. Let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag Glacier Gang. I want y'all to stay focused, stay patient, remain humble no matter the situation. Stay locked in. It's year 2021. We super focused. We in that duffel. We ain't slowing down, and we just super focused, man. Regaining that peace on that. Island got my head in a whole different realm. I'm superly in my bag. If you were able to make it through this 18 minute video, I highly appreciate you and may God bless. All right, you two. When was that? October, October, November, one of them. December, June, June. Five months since he ain't had a haircut. So let me know what y'all think about that one in the comment section. I think that's gonna be a super, super, super banger. Drop all of them heat emotions. Drop TBT. Drop Glacier Gang. All of that in the comment section. And until next time.